Ripple is feeling pumped about its chances to win the lawsuit it has with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. In 2023 XRP Las Vegas event, which was held in February, the CEO of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, assured XRP supporters that victory was in their favor. Attorney John Deaton, a pro crypto lawyer representing 75,000 XRP holders, also attended the XRP Las Vegas event. Speaking on the two year long lawsuit with the SEC over the categorization of XRP as a security, Brad Garlinghouse says, We're going to win this thing. In this video, we're going to be jumping down into the world of XRP, taking a look at what's been going on with the price action and what my thoughts are when XRP does, uh, wait, wait, when Ripple win and when XRP gets clarity as to whether or not it is a security. Let's jump right down into this one. As I get into it, if you find it useful and informative, smash that like button. I really do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all the notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. If you haven't yet joined us in Discord, guys, check it out. Linked in the description down below. It's a fantastic community talking crypto 24-7. It's completely free, and I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there. So why not go ahead and check it out? If you... um. Yeah, then you know what? Let's just, just get right down into it. Let's waste no more time. Let's do this. Right, we're going to be taking a look at three different things, uh, three different charts, I should say. Uh, we've got this one here, Smart Money Concepts. We've got the Elliott Wave Theory, and we've got some macro stuff. So let's start with the Elliott Wave side of things. So following on from the previous video, I said that XRP is ready for a surge to the upside. It's ready. It's primed for a pump. And I still believe this to be true. We've just tested down some of these lows. It concretes this uh, idea even further uh, that we are ready and poised for a move to the upside. So as you can kind of see, what I've done here is I kind of plotted out a WXYXZ scenario with our expectations of moving towards 62.76 and 68.38 cent. Okay, now you can see that we did come down a little bit deeper, so that does actually change that a little bit uh, there, but it's not it's not a massive miles uh, difference. Let's go ahead and just replot that. Um, by moving this over to here um, and we can see you know I think I was measuring from here before yeah um, and what we want to do is we just want to kind of come in here just a fraction more and uh, and just lower our targets and lower our expectations just ever so slightly okay I'm just going to park it in right in here and yeah it's right there okay cool so if I remove that we have our new target range here between 59.12 and 64.65. Okay, so those are the numbers that we're kind of looking for for a Z wave, in my opinion. Um, and the reason that I say that we're kind of like poised and kind of primed for a move to the upside is isn't necessarily to do with the SEC and uh, Ripple, because I think um, you know that whatever happens there will, will happen, right? It is what it is, and we'll kind of get that clarity at some point in the future. Now. Admittedly, I like that to be today or tomorrow or next week or, you know, the week after some point in this month, maybe next month. And there's always going to be a date flying around the Internet that someone speculates it's going to be this particular date because of X, Y and Z speculation and so forth. Right. Um, no one really knows. And if anyone does leak that kind of information, uh, I think they're putting their whole entire career in jeopardy. So I don't think that's something that's likely to happen. If we think logically about it, what is the reward for someone leaking that information? Are they being paid to, to kind of leak that information? And if so, is there going to be a kickback? And is that easy to kind of see? Um, they're going to potentially get themselves into a whole lot of hot water um, if they were to do that. So I just don't think that's something that's likely to happen. Not for the people who would actually know and are that close to the case. Now, I'd like it to be uh, as soon as possible um, because I think we're primed and ready to kind of go um, at these kind of key levels that, that could see very significant growth in the price action of, of XRP. Now, let me break this down. Right? Why do I think we're primed and why do we think we are, I've got this kind of um, fantastic shift to the upside to occur? Well, if we zoom out of this, we can kind of see that we had our trend line to the downside. Now, I don't normally like trend lines, um, but in the case of something that is so... Um, how do I articulate this? That's so driven from retail, um, with uh, with you know pockets of larger smart money funds for in places, but pretty much the emotional reactions of retail investors is ultimately kind of what's going on here. So we we had our trend line. This trend line comes from November 2021. We tested it there. We tested it again up in March of 2022. We tested it again up here in October of 2022, again in November of 2022. And then we were testing and riding this down over here. And this is where it got really interesting. We kind of broke it and we're testing this trend line 
aggressively since January. Okay, so price action in January all the way through February was actually moving down along the trend line. Now, what I often say on this channel is that when we see, let me go ahead and grab a couple of uh, parallel channels here. When we see price action going up into higher highs and higher lows, it has a tendency to break down. Okay, this is really simple stuff. You can apply this wherever you want and you're going to find very similar kind of stories. Okay, if we go up here, for example, higher highs, higher lows, and we see a small pull down, breaking that low trend line. Now, this one got a reversal pretty quickly. That wasn't massive. Well, some of these can be pretty massive breakdowns, right? And when you see it the opposite way around, okay, when you see, uh, this one's more of a triangular wedge, so that doesn't count. Um, but over here, you can see that we're tilting down, right? We're going into lower lows and lower highs and we break upwards right so we can see when we tilt up we break down and when we tilt down we break up it's the opposite direction now trying to time it can be a little bit difficult um, but for the most part if you've got good internal structures and you kind of know what you're looking for and you spot these things uh, then you kind of know you're primed and ready to go okay so we're looking for this move to the upside we have our target range wxyxz and the reason i think this is we've got a very overlapping corrective structure coming down here okay and we can see that we went higher than the 1.236, I believe. Let me just do a quick sense check on that to make sure I'm not, you know, talking out of my ass and all that kind of usual stuff uh, that people might say. Um, but yeah, we went above the 1.236 and we went above the 1.382. This is normally, uh, this is ab abnormal. It's unusual activity to see a surge within a C wave structure that goes up higher than 1.382. That normally, typically, is between 1 and 1.236. So when we know that and we notice this and we notice that we have an overlapping structure that's tilting down, it leads us to the Z wave. Um, internal structure wise, we have also um, would be looking for zigzag patterns. And I think we don't really have a good structure for that in our W, but we definitely do within the Y structure. Um, so it's interesting to kind of see what's going to unfold here, but my expectations are a Z wave move upwards. And maybe I'm just not quite seeing what I need to see down in the W wave. That being said, whether it's a WXYXZ, uh, as in, you know, zigzag, 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 or whether it's just a string of corrections all being pulled together, um, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to mark it up as a WXY XZ because I think that's the neatest way of kind of explaining it to you guys. Um, so yeah, essentially I'm looking for that break to the upside and you can see the rationale behind it. Tilting down, uh, we're above our trend line, we broke upwards. Now there is a bit of a bearish tell here as well and we need to be a little bit aware of this because it's not going to be painting that pretty picture that we are going straight to the moon. Okay, and that is that we are doing at a bigger level the worrying tilt up. Okay, and we can see this. Um, if I go ahead and just pull this over here, for example, just tilt this down that side, uh, you can see that we're tilting up here and it's being made out of a WXYXZ, right? And you can see that we would test that higher range. Now, that means that if we don't get closure on that case and we don't see, you know, clarity for XRP anytime soon, then I think we complete this structure and, well, at that point we, we have to go and go down. So that's a you know, way off in the future, something that we need to be aware of, but it is there. It's obvious that we, we shouldn't ignore it. Bitcoin has a very similar setup um, and uh, the whole entire crypto market might have to have some, some big monthly red candles uh, and we'll, we'll see how that kind of plays out. Jumping over into a slightly neater view is our smart money concepts again i've drawn on the tilt here so you can see what that looks like we are going down in this parallel channel uh, we've tested the low three times uh, we tested the high three times uh, arguably four if you're really wanting to kind of try it um, we'll say three just to keep it nice and easy and that's pretty typical of what you're looking for you're usually looking for three tests uh, on these things uh, both on the high and the low side so again poised for a move to the upside now we are in a bullish structure as well on the daily chart let's go and review okay on the smart money concepts we changed from bearish to bullish over here this happened in september of 2022 we confirmed that we're bullish here in january 2023 even though we were tilting down. You can see it right there. In fact, let me go ahead and put a parallel channel on just so that we can keep it super neat here. If I snap it there, there we go. Uh, what I'll do is I will, yeah, I'll put it here. It would make the most amount of sense and then pull that into there. Okay, so we tilt down like so. And then what do we see? We see a break upwards. We get another break of structure here in March, 2023. So bear, uh, going from bearish to bullish, we're bullish confirmed, bullish confirmed. Even though we are tilting down and going into lower lows and lower highs, 
we broke upwards and we have those massive swings in the market. Okay, so it's important that we reflect and understand. Uh, we don't just think oh, lower lows, lower highs is bad. We think lower lows and lower, high, uh, lower highs are bad on short term but actually really bullish on the longer term. Okay, so that's a buying opportunity, specifically depending on where you have those overlapping structures. Now, um, as we kind of get into this, we can see, okay, well, what else is going on here? Well, straight off the bat here, we are in this green buy order block right now. Okay, that happens to be where we're testing these lows at the moment. Okay, we can also see this as an area of consolidation just here. This is a breakdown from equilibrium, which is not terribly too unusual. Uh, you test equilibrium. If you don't, can't hold it, you're going to break down from it. We're also below the 200 EMA. That's a little bit of a worry. Okay, so rejected on the 50, and now we are below the 200. That is a worry. We need to get above that 200 EMA. And um, failure to do so could be could be catastrophic for, for Bitcoin and maybe we'll get a breakdown. And maybe this tilt is going to invalidate and we're just going to continue down before we get the breakup later. Okay, we do see down here, there's also my more buy orders uh, and a strong low, unlikely to break that strong low, weak high, likely to break that high. Fair value gap that is left behind. There's a small uh, sell order block and a slightly larger order block here um, that we have to push through. So there's not going to be an easy journey up, but I do think a journey up nonetheless is overdue for the case of X. XRP. So for the most part, we can see on our daily chart from an Elliott Wave Theory point of view, WXYXZ, uh, we have the micro structures on the daily here that will play out over the, probably the next few weeks. And then we had that bigger kind of bearish situation, which is a monthly um, outlook, I think it's going to take a long time before we see that that bigger one kind of play out. Um, and we can see here we have this this idea that we still have that momentum behind this price action to push us on upwards. That's also noted inside our stochastic RSIs as well, as we are oversold on the daily here, oversold on um, the uh, eight hour and four hourly as well, depending on if you use OHLC4 or close positions on your stochastic RSIs. Um, all that being said, it's looking good and looking primed for a move upwards. Okay, dollar cost averaging all around these areas to me seems to make the most amount of sense because at some point we're going to get a pretty good lift off here with XRP. Now, the SEC versus Ripple is a bit of a spanner in all of this because this at the moment just tracks how people are behaving right now. And when we have something like that case coming to conclusion or maybe getting dragged out uh, for whatever reason is going to be um, changing this data somewhat. Okay, so with the cases of anything that's really being uh, kind of dragged through a, a litigation from the SEC, specifically something like Ripple and, uh, and XRP in the way that it has done, I think is going to just shake this TA up completely, right? So this is only valid um, until we get that kind of, you know, some kind of update in terms of that case moving forward or coming to an end. Okay, so if we everything continues as is, and we're still kind of unknown and we're kind of waiting and dragging feet, then this TA is going to be on point in my opinion. Um, however, if we start to see uh, some kind of um, summary judgment that might have an impact here, I think that'd be positive to be fair. Um, and then, you know, we'll wait for conclusions. If it goes to trial, then I think the TA plays out and we uh, and we essentially we're going to see a lot of volatility for, for the case of, of XRP. That brings us over into our weekly macros and we can see that we're right up there in the supply box at the moment, uh, just down here, and we will be looking to break through this previous area of demand that's turned to supply we want to break through it turn it back to demand and then target out those higher ranges at 86 to 1 dollar okay but again that's going to take quite a few months to play out i don't think that's going to be quick and of course there's going to be a huge journey here all the way up to price discovery and all that kind of good stuff i'm going to leave the video there though guys i think there's enough to kind of digest in terms of the price action of of xrp some fantastic things i do think are on the horizon if you found it useful smash the like button if you're new subscribe don't forget to join us down in discord and guys i'll catch you all in the next one we are not financial advisors, and none of what we have communicated early or in a writing here should be considered as financial advice. It is not. Do your own research before investing in any digital asset or affiliate office and understand that investing in any crypto is risky. If you do, you need to be prepared to risk your entire investment. This video is for information and investing advice only. All our videos are strictly personal opinions. Please make sure you do your own research and never take our opinions for financial advice. There are multiple strategies and not all strategies fit for people. Our videos are not financial advice.